you can see from my intro, this video will be all about these guys. So, stay tuned, watch the video all the way through, like, subscribe. Okay, so as you can see, for, for my head wrap, I usually put a wig cap on. Baby hair is already laid. So for my edges, I used Handy Dandy Eco Styler Olive Oil. Big dry. These are like seven dollars. Last year, a ton. And then I used the Pineapple Edge. Yes, the Pineapple Edge Booster. And that's how much you got like this with toothbrush. I get these from Target. They come in two in a pack for like, they used to be 99 cents. Now they're like a dollar and like 75 cents. It's crazy. But yeah, nice bristles, it's hair on it. I just like this. So, I will be using this green long scarf and we'll be doing your typical fun and you will need some of these. So I take this, I got this um, scarf from Plato's Closet. So it's technically a scarf you wrap around your neck. But I like to use them as head wraps. Gives them more versatility. Gives them more versatile look. So, take it. So you're going to want to take it and make sure that each side is even. And I like to kind of pull it up so I know that I have two. And I cross it over and I tie it. So when you tie it, you're going to pull it basically like in a little knot almost. That way it's secure all around your head this keeps it from falling off it keeps it from loosening up over time and you just want it to be secure so because some people do this style they hair not even done so if this fall off then you're screwed so make sure that it's tight enough that it's not gonna fall off and you're gonna have two sides just like that and then usually I take it and basically do like a two strand twist <laughs> a two strand twist all the way to the bottom and it's gonna look like a rope and then you're gonna take it and turn it you want to kind of turn it in the direction that it's twisted that way it stays so i'm turning it around itself and eventually it's gonna bulk up tie it kind of tight and boom and then I usually I would take a hair tie to give it a little bit extra security I learned that the hair tie helps the rope stay and you're gonna cover the hair tie up with the rest of the scarf Okay, so for the next style, 
you already have your foundation set you have both sides two sides <laughs> two sides and they're both even so this is the wraparound that i usually do and this is how i do it so i basically twist that up twist one side of the scarf up and i literally guide it and wrap it around my head your entire head and you're gonna tuck it and keep tucking it until the end of the scarf until you can't tuck the end of the scarf no more so now as that said that side is done we're gonna do the same thing on the other side but this time you are going to wrap this end of the scarf in the opposite direction so that way it's overlapping one another you see boom overlapping guide it around your head I don't even know what you would call this style for a head wrap, but either way, this is how I do it. So, <laughs> and you would tuck the ends same way you did on the other side. Since my scarf has little fringes, it's gonna hang a little bit. I like that, some people don't, so yeah. Okay, so since you still have the foundation of the two wraps, these are head wrap space buns. You literally just wrap it around itself. Just how you would wrap a single bun, you're gonna wrap two buns with the scarf. And then you're gonna take a hair tie to really secure it. I like to double wrap my hair ties for that extra security because it's very annoying when they decide okay so you are going to do the exact same thing for the other side twist 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 get a little tight and wrap it i don't know what the heck was going on I was having difficulties <laughs> and I usually never have any difficulties with this but today I was so we're just gonna fast forward and you're gonna see the finished product okay Okay, so this is the start of the next style. This is where the other scarf would come in. So this is basically the top knot head wrap. So you put it up like that. And once again, we are gonna tie it in a knot for security. So that way you will have two sides of the scarf still. And you're gonna pull, 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 pull. And just keep pulling until it's to your liking, until it feels secure. <laughs> until it feels secure. And that's when you'll know that it's, it's time to stop pulling, basically. Then I usually just, this is just the base, the foundation for the star. So I don't really... I don't really do too much but just wrap it within itself on this part um it doesn't matter if your wig cap is showing 
just kind of wrap it within itself just to make a base for the top knot. And then you guys will see as I keep going what it's going to look like because right now it kind of looks like lopsided and a hot mess. <laughs> okay, so boom. The other scar... You kind of want to like make okay so here is the next scarf you will literally put it on exactly the same way you put the first foundation scarf on make sure it is aligned and make sure that the green scarf or whatever other scarf that you put underneath the the top scarf is covered So tie, pull, secure. This is just me having a moment. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, okay, but yeah. So you have to make sure that you cover the scarf that you have underneath. So I usually take one side of the scarf and I wrap it. And once again, you're going to see me trying to cover the green scarf up. So you're going to wrap and tuck. Wrap and tuck. Take the opposite side. Take the opposite side and you will cover up any scarf that's underneath. Boom, see how it's covered? Wrap and tuck. This is just me tucking. Making sure that there's nothing really hanging down. And that it looks nice and not as lopsided. And honestly, all these styles are really trial and error. Like if you've never done a head wrap, feel free, rewind, keep playing. Once again, I, I always add a hair tie for that extra oomph of security because you do not want this to fall off your head. And be careful because sometimes you can ruin it. Um, it just takes practice. This is literally years of me doing these and just practice. And these are just the basic ones. It can get very, very intricate. Yes. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks and have a great one.